I'm still not 100% sure why I bought this. This thing was about 600 bucks. I've always wanted one. <clears throat> uh, I just thought they looked neat. I think the tip-up barrel is kind of cool. And I do plan on carrying this if it proves to be reliable. But yeah, it's a pretty neat little gun. It uh, holds seven rounds in the magazine. <clears throat> it comes with one magazine. For the price, you figured it might come with more than one. So we bought another one. Uh, it's got a... Uh, comes with a pretty crappy cardboard box and this bag that says Beretta that you can keep your pistol in. Uh, 32 ACP is pretty anemic and they don't recommend that you shoot anything over 130 foot-pounds of muzzle energy through it. And we picked up some Remington uh, UMC. Shot it earlier. It shot good. There's the round right there. You can see it's uh, quite small compared to a nine millimeter there's a nine millimeter and we also picked up some hornady xtps which are even smaller but i'm not sure what i'm going to carry if i carry it um we'll probably end up making a uh some kind of hard cast load or something that's got a little more ass to it than uh what the horn of these got it's a the horn of these supposed to be a thousand feet per second I think it's 60 grains and we'll see how it does i mean it's it out of a 2.9 inch barrel you're not going to get enough velocity i think for that round to expand but we'll uh we'll do some tests on it shoot some water jugs or something and try to catch it and see how well it does expand or if it expands at all if it doesn't expand i'm probably just going to uh get some 71 grain bullets and just load those for pocket carry now this is not going to be my edc by any means um it's the capacity is not there and that's one of the reasons why i quit carrying a Glock 42 because it only held six rounds i quit carrying a 43 because it only holds six rounds speaking of here's a glock 42 here's the um tomcat for you know, size, it is a lot smaller than even the uh, Glock 380. It's a pretty tiny pistol, and it it's a little wider. Uh, the grip is a little fatter on it, as you can see. That's unloaded also. It's got an empty mag in it. But yeah, she shot nice. We only put about uh, 25 rounds through it. Yeah, I shot it. My wife shot it. She thought it was a little bit snappy for what it was, and it's for for its size and it only weighs like i think 11 ounces it is a bit snappy but it's not bad like i don't mind it at all i got you know 460 44 mag shot 500s i don't i'm not recoil sensitive but this this model's the uh, covert it's got a uh, threaded barrel if you want to put a suppressor on it which might be kind of cool I know Q's got the director that you can make different sizes and it also comes with flat dark earth to match the gun. That might look pretty badass. It has a little hammer fired gun, has a safety. The mag release is whack. Um, mag release is right here on the side. But I did notice if I shoot this one handed and I grip it really good, it's what well, it was earlier. It was, I did drop the mag out. Yeah like that because I shoot left-handed and it you know I have I did hit that but it's not bad the sights are very rudimentary this is basically a get off me gun you you know plug this into someone's nose or ear eyeball you're not going to be shooting long distances with this and if you are take video because I want to see it I did think about shaving off the bottom of this magazine so it doesn't stick out so far. We did have two failure to uh, go into battery. She stopped back like this on my wife when she was shooting it. And I don't know if she was, uh, the way she was limp wristing it. She thought maybe it was because she was pulling this down so tight that it was pushing the back of the magazine up. But I mean, it's could have been anything. Plus it's a brand new gun. Uh, we didn't oil it. We just went straight from the store, looked at it and shot it. Yeah, but do I recommend this for everyday carry? Hell no. But do I recommend this to run down to the store? You know, 
you gotta run across town or something you don't really want to get out of your car you gotta run to a gas station get a loaf of bread get a gallon of milk get you a bag from your dude no judgment I mean this thing will fit anywhere It'll fit in a small pocket you can fit it in your purse you can fit it in you know ankle carry you could you know right up your keister carry if that's you know what you're into some people are but yeah like i was saying i might take the bottom of that magazine off that way it doesn't stick out and get in the way of when she shoots it because she was shooting it and she could actually get all three fingers on this as small as that is she's got really tiny hands but yeah so far it's a neat little gun we're gonna reload for it we're getting ready to order a set of dies we couldn't find any dies today at the uh, stores we were at we checked at a bass pro and a uh Finn here in Ohio and they didn't have any dies for it so I'm just gonna pick up a set of dies and probably not even a shell plate so I'll probably just reload this on my single stage one thing I did notice about this though uh, it's not a big deal I just gotta take the screws out and put some Loctite on it this grip panel on this side you can hear it as loose the uh, screws are loose enough I can turn them with my fingernail so we're gonna take that out put some Loctite on those just to make sure the grip panel stay on because I don't want whatever spring or whatever the hell is in there to come flying out while we're shooting it. And this one here is not loose, but we'll go ahead and do that one as well. Um, it's got this little button here on the front. You push it and the barrel pops up. It pops up some authority too. And to take it apart, uh, you just rock that up, pull her back. I had the hammer half cocked and she just lifts right off. But yeah, that's all it is. Take it apart, put it back together. Pretty much the same thing. You just make sure you get it down underneath that and pop her into place. Put the barrel back on or down. Ready to rock again. The uh, hammer uh, spring is tight. It's got a when you rack it like this. It's kind of it's got some tension on it, but. You don't have to do that because when you slap a fresh mag in, just go and pop your barrel open, pop around in it, close it, and there's no reason to rack it. You're ready to go. Um, if you're an older person that has a problem racking a gun, this gun here, unless you have a malfunction, you should never have to rack it uh, with a slide except to check to make sure that it's safe. And you can also just check it that way, see if you got something in the barrel. Um, the double action trigger is not bad on it uh it's i don't really want to dry fire it i want to get some snap caps the gun seems kind of fragile but we'll get some snap caps and do a trigger pull test on it that might be for another video once we get some rounds through it and we'll uh see how she does because i just really love these little pocket pistols man like the smaller they are the more i love them Maybe I'm just used to having really tiny things. Yeah, other than that, um, it's a pretty decent little gun so far. And we'll, I'm going to give it a good cleaning. And once I get some uh, reloading components, I had to buy a box of ammo today. I hate buying ammo. I feel defeated when I got to buy it, but I needed brass. So it was kind of a win-win. And I got to shoot it today instead of waiting for dies and reloading components. But we'll uh, load some rounds up later on down the road and yeah, we'll make another video about what kind of ballistics we get out of this with reloads as opposed to uh factory yeah but i hope you learned something if you got any questions about the gun be uh feel free to ask i might know i might not if i don't know i'll try to find out look it up and let you know back in the comment but uh thank you guys for watching stay safe shoot straight